Good morning. Welcome to Narrowboat Lane. It's six o'clock on a Monday morning. Sorry about the shaky camera, but Henry does like to give me a bit of a pull. Got a full week's work stretched out in front of me, but on a beautiful morning like this, it doesn't seem so bad. This is just a little stretch of canal that's directly outside our wharf. And it's lovely this time of day, nice and fresh and cool. Henry's feet aren't getting hot. Birds are singing, not too much traffic knocking about. And the canal looks beautiful this time of day. So this is our morning poo patrol. Glamorous life of a narrow boat dog owner. I will see you back on the boat. It's been an absolutely scorching few days and uh, although we all know that ice cream is very bad for dogs once in a while as a blue moon treat we do like to give Henry uh, what he's after so this is him scoffing an ice cream and keeping very cool nice morning we made it back to the boat and what a beautiful morning already and it's just turned six o'clock um, We've had a busy weekend. We've um, been doing a bit of DIY on the boat. Um, if you've watched the previous episodes, we had like some horrible white tile and some wallpaper that hadn't fared well against the condensation over the winter. So that's all gone. The curtains that we had up, obviously anything in front of the glass on the narrow boat is going to get condensation. It's going to turn to mould. Um, not big fans of mould. So they're all gone. So let me just give you a quick spin round um, and show you the outcome of our work. Yeah, so if you remember, this was all tiled, the same as the tiles that are on the bottom. Um, that was all the way to the ceiling as far as halfway down. Um, but we wanted to get rid because it, it reminded us a bit of a public loo. So we got rid of all the tile and the plan was to go back to bare wood and then either stain or um, wash down with the diluted emulsion to give it all like a bit of a uniform look. But once we got it sanded down, we really, really loved the look. So we decided to, well, we decided to for the meantime, keep it as it is. Um, the curtains have all been replaced with these roller blinds that we got from the range. I think they were a tenner each. Um, so that was all groovy. Let me just turn this kettle off before it starts screaming at us. Hang on a sec. There we go. Um, yeah, so we really like the look of it. These window frames were all painted with black emulsion or um, a sort of black satin. And then over the top of that, they'd been painted with white gloss. So many hours of sanding and sweating later, we got it back to, I believe they're oak, which I can't believe anybody would paint over. So I've, um, they're a bit dusty because I've been sanding the walls again. Um, yeah, I don't believe anybody would want to paint over oak with, with white gloss, but still each to their own. But yeah, so no, I think they look a lot better. Um, we've replaced these boards that run the whole length of the boat and I've sanded them over to take the rough edges off. Um, I bought some stain to stain them to get to make them match the window frames, but we're gonna wait and see on that because I don't know, it reminds us a bit of a beach sort of hut flavour going on, and we kind of really like that. So, yeah, there's one of the blinds down to just give you a look. And what we've done, because obviously, with the walls, as you know, on a narrow boat being angled, when you've got the blinds just dangling, they, 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 they sit about that far from the bottom. So, all I've done is stuck some. Sticky back Velcro and on the underside of the roller blind and they just it just works really really well. Um the one problem I did have is when I was fitting one of them, let me show you. Um I picked the pen up to mark it and I got ink on it, which wasn't a happy start to the job. So that one's going in the bin. I did hope that I'd be able to cut it down and use it, excuse my dirty dishes, I haven't done my chores yet. Yeah, I thought I'd be able to cut it down and use it for the kitchen window. Unfortunately, where the stain is, where the ink stain is, um, it wouldn't be in the part that I'd be cutting off. So that one's for the bin, unfortunately. 
so we've got a couple more to get for the bedroom um but yeah we're nearly there i think it looks great um obviously we've still got to reupholster the sofa bed to give that a brighter finish and then i've got to do something with this end wall i had painted it in a few months ago when we when we hung the wallpaper but as you can see it, it just looks awful so i think this is going to be coming off and we're going to get a new sheet of 8x4 oak face ply which i think will look a hell of a lot better um yeah so we're really happy one thing i will quickly show you not that i've been asked to but these pictures um we absolutely love this one was a commission that we got the artist to do for us um and that's our boat with uh henry on the front looking a bit happy <laughs> and this one we picked up at the crick boat show when we were there which is a another one of her prints it's art by anna marie um you can check out her website she's got loads of lovely stuff but i just think that that really sets sets it off we might get a couple more have a set of four um when we treat ourselves next time i think but yeah I'll, I'll try and add a link below i don't know really how to do it but i'll give it a go if not it's art by anna marie and you'll you'll see some lovely stuff i say you can commission her to do your own or uh, you can pick from a lot of prints and stuff she has really nice stuff yeah so there you go that's uh, just a little quick short video to show you what we've been up to this weekend not a lot the week before as i've been off work um I won't go into too much detail, but yeah, I had a bit of that norovirus that was knocking about, so I've not been fit for anything, so the weekend has been busy. But we're really pleased with the outcome. Henry's pleased, don't you, Henry? No. Yeah, but anyway, so it's uh, it's all good. This was uh, a little trip we took on Sunday up to Hawkesbury Junction. It was absolutely beautiful. Uh, this is on the way back with uh, my brother joined us on board. Yeah, lovely, lovely little cruise. A couple of hours there, a couple of hours back. Fantastic. <laughs> One for the ladies. Star of the future. <laughs> yeah, so all in all, quite a productive weekend. Um, I could have done without having the lurgy for the week, but never mind. We can't be all winners every time. Um, nothing really else to report. Nothing planned for the next couple of weeks, so it's just to relax now and get ready for our major boat blacking session, which is happening at the beginning of next month. Um, yeah, up until then, nothing else really on the card, so we're just going to enjoy ourselves and um, yeah. So if you like what you, you've seen so far, um, subscribe, that'd be great. Give us a little thumbs up, always nice. And uh, along on a journey yeah see you next time everyone